there is nothing great than starting the day with amazing stats that will prove to you that what you're doing makes not just makes sense but it is also something so dynamic that you get to learn a thing or two every day so what you have on your screens now is a uh, screenshots from salesforce where they give you some interesting insights about uh, about ai and automation and what generally happens in the industry across a lot of verticals from sales to marketing etc if you filter the department with marketing and if you i mean leave everything else if you you can filter it across au uk australia i mean australia uk and us but i'm just going to leave the countries as all and it'll just let let's just see what happens in general right so workers are optimistic about ai impact 73% of desk workers use or plan to use generative ai not very helpful insight there because we don't know if people are already using it or if they plan to use it now if, if they're i mean we need to know exactly how many people are using it right So desk workers estimate that generative AI will save them on an average 5 hours of work week. Uh then you have 70% think that generative AI will help better serve customers. 73% think generative AI will help take better advantages of data, which is good. Now top requirements for successful use of AI, you need to have human oversight. You cannot leave as it is and the, the you cannot leave everything to the tool and assume it will take care of its own. enhance security measures you need to you be ethical and you need to be using ethical guidelines then you have trusted customer data basically because what you feed into the system is what it will use to go ahead and analyze for you so if you feed in bad data bad data comes out so garbage in garbage out so you need to be uh, providing the system and the, the one of the requirements is to provide the system with trusted customer data and not any random data that you go ahead and uh, to use it because it will not help you in any way in fact it will backfire if if you don't have accurate data now ai is transforming roles across the business now in sales it is generally used for basic content creation 82% of them use it for basic content creation analyze market data 74% of them say feel that use that then you have automated personalized sales communication 71% of people use that build sales forecast 71% of people use that right now you let's see what happens in marketing if you look at marketing now writing copy 73% of people use generative ai tools basic content creation 72% improve inspire creative thinking 68% when i say inspire creative thinking it is let's say asking chat gpt about write me a marketing plan for this write me a campaign idea for so and so product right now then you have generative ai will transform the way you create groups or segments for marketing campaigns create marketing campaigns and journey plans then personalized messaging content now customer service again has its own share of percentages we have not yet missed the bus if you start today the best thing to have started ai was yesterday and the next best thing is now so please get started with generative ai let nothing hold you because we need more people who can play with the system and challenge the system and come up with creative ideas so that it will push the whole industry ahead thank you so much my name is kc and next time sure